All right, everybody, welcome to the Studying Brew, episode 833. Oh my goodness, what a great night to have a study session. And we're so happy to have all of you here for this beautiful Thursday evening as we get this thing going, as we uh, near and near and dear to the end of the first week of the year. Yes. Are you trying to do the math? Oh, it is 2024. It is, uh, yes, it is the beginning of the year. It is the first end of the first week. And uh, I know a lot of you are getting committed to getting this thing done, want to get this thing done. But let me tell you, you just you just do it. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. I mean, how do you quit smoking? Just, just stop. That would be opposite of do it. Yeah, you just stop, though. Just stop. How do you get how do you get fit? You just go. Just do it. Yeah, you just go. Just go. Let's talk more do. Yeah. Well, I can't do all that stuff. Just walk. How about you just walk? That's all. I mean, we overlook and we think way too much. You know, I think the motto should just be keep it simple. It is keep it simple. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go in on that trademark of just do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think we got to make our own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't afford that lawsuit. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some hoodies. If- this year all right my name is andy that's brandy brandy's got her series 6 63 26 series 65 and her series 7 which makes her more than qualified to teach you all the things you need to know so that way you do you get a pass notice and tonight is our free session this is our free sessions that we do this is where we stay uh you know consistent consistent build this into your routine make it part of your habit end your studying session with us or maybe begin your studying session with us Whatever it is, be plugged in because you never know what you're going to hear here. That is true. I heard it that. might be a pass notice person, you know, someone who just got a pass notice and they're giving off that knowledge, you know, how they got this thing done. Yeah. It might be something that we saw this this weekend or, you know, something that came up, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. 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 It, it's just you, you never know what kind of what kind of energy or what kind of, you know, feeling you're going to have at the end of the night. But you want to have a good one. That's for sure. And we're going to bring that positive mental attitude. We're going to bring that positive message as always. Get you guys fired up. Sometimes when we study, we get in, we get like sad. We get in the dumps get because get the, we're like, for some reason, you guys all get depressed about it. Why do you get depressed about it? You got an opportunity to learn something and move on to something greater. What an opportunity. What an amazing opportunity. What a blessing to be able to have that ability. What an amazing blessing to have the ability to do something think about that that's true so many people wish they could be in your position where mental capacity physical capacity to just do something and even elevate them themselves to another level mm-hmm. guys think about that it's a blessing to do that so don't be depressed about it look how amazing that is even if you get frustrated it's okay that's when you come over on to the studying brew Come on down, right? Like we're Bob Barker. And you just you just get your your positive fix. You know what I mean? Get recentered and get your study on. That's what this is all about. Plus, we give you technique. We give you content. We show you how to get this thing done by, you know, helping you master these exams all for free. Yep. And all we ask is you share the word of Kona. That's all we ask, right? Yeah. I'm just saying it's it, nothing better, nothing finer. Than just coming on here and just getting that studying brew. I know there's a lot of people to ask, what's the point of going on here if I'm like signed up for your program? It's just different. That's it. <laughs> I was waiting for you to fill in a I was waiting for something more. I was like, okay. It's just another piece. Like it's just I don't I don't know how to describe it. You said it in the beginning. Begin your session, your study session, or end your study session with this like light-hearted, super fun study set. This is what I'm going to tell you guys. If you want a helpful study, this is a study tip for the weekend. This is a study tip for the weekend. And I, I think this is my opinion. And some people might think this is like, you know, this is like a shot at somebody or some, something. But I'm going to say this. This is the most common mistake, or I feel like it's almost like lazy coaching when it comes to this stuff. People will tell you to focus on results. They'll say, focus on the results. Focus on getting this score. Focus on mastering this exam prep 
practice exam, QBank, mastery, whatever they call it. I don't know. Right. Yeah. They'll say, get focus on the results of that. Pay attention to getting the 80 percent, get a 90 percent, pass, get a 75 percent, <laughs> pass the one. Don't focus on that. Don't no. focus on results. Don't focus on results. Focus on your consistency, your discipline, and what you need to do to get to the next step. The results will come. Does that make sense? If you put in the work and just focus on the discipline, the consistency, and just putting in, you know, the, we call it why right, why wrongs, right? Doing all that stuff, working on your techniques. Guess what? The results will come. The results will come. Look at professional athletes. They don't go out and practice. Like I'm going to say this, Kobe didn't go out and practice winning a game. He went out and practiced his fundamentals. He went out and practiced how to shoot better from that position. He went out there and learned how to dribble better or pass or whatever, learning the game, right? The fundamentals of it all. He didn't go out there and fo focus on, I'm going to get, uh, you know, we're going to score 100 in this next game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get 30 points. It wasn't about that. I know it sounds crazy because a guy would score 60 or 80 points in a game, right? But it was never the focus. The focus was doing the best you can with your fundamentals in that moment. Yes. Professionals, professional athletes, people who have a skill set, like, you know, a craft, right? Whether they're like, you know, somebody who builds for a living or they're really good at like making something, you know, with their hands or, you know, some sort of, they have some sort of skill set, right? They don't work on the result they work on their fundamentals of getting better and then that the, the results come so focus on that stop focusing on scores in your practices scores in your quizzes because i'll tell you this right now probably the last five people who pass these exams don't i'm not going to say it's exact so don't think back brandy and be like that's not true i'm just saying why did like let's say I think there was like at least three or four of the people that passed the exams like our last few pass look they didn't have the best scores. I mean I could I could think of one right now Sianya she never even scored over a seventy consistently I don't think I've seen her score over a seventy ever. She said sixty eight was her highest. That was it. But we told her not to focus on that. Focus on the fundamentals, the techniques. Why? Look at the thing, your attitude, all these things. Guess what? Pass notice. By all means, if she was with somebody else, they, she would have never took the test. Mm -mm. She would have never attempted it. She would have been told she's not ready. Yep. I can name more. So many more. So many more who never got over a 70. I can name a guy named Ryan who never, he, he uh, has complete dyslexia. Like it is clinical. He passed his exams. Guys, he, he didn't ever even scored over 60% on any quiz. Think about that. I said quiz, not even an exam, not even a simulated. We're talking quizzes. Any given quiz never scored over 60%. Can you imagine if, I, if he would listen to anybody else except us? He wouldn't even, he probably wouldn't even try. He probably would already, you know, quit doing this. He said, what's the point? What's the point? I can't even get through a quiz. I can't even read it. He focused on the fundamentals of our techniques and our strategies and learned that you don't necessarily have to like go memorize the book. You don't have to sit there and read all of the, the content to delirium, right? Do you lose your mind? You don't need to. Otherwise, he would not have gotten his past notices. There's so many more. And I know there's people on here that are so dang frustrated and so upset. And they're like, I don't even know. I'm only a week in. I don't know if I can do this or whatever. Guys, you're making it way more difficult than it really is. 
trust me, even the stronger studiers who have their degrees, they've gone on to other secondary schools, whatever. Look at my man, Eric. So bullheaded. You know what I mean? He's like, I'm going to do it the way I've always known to do it. I'm like, I'm a scientist, right? Mm -hmm. And he struggled. And he's like, all right, I'll be coachable. I'll be humble. I'll listen to you guys. I don't know if I fully believe it, but whatever, I'll go with it. Guess what? Pass notice. And now he's having fun with it. Now he's like looking at the answers only. He's not even reading the questions anymore. He sees it. Guys, I'm telling you, it's an epiphany. It is, it is crazy, like a game changer when you're able to do that. And you're like, Andy, what are you getting at? I'm getting at tonight's topic. We are going to do that tonight. We are going to play what we do on Mondays. Usually Kona catchphrase. We are going to just look at key words, not necessarily reading all of the question, not necessarily reading all of the answers, key words. And we're going to ask you to play along and you put the keywords into the, the, the chat and start focusing on key words. What are those patterns? Those things. Stop getting hung up on these, these, these questions and answers. And just like Michael, who just passed not that long ago, he's like, dude, these things are so convoluted anyway. Like the real exam in any of these, like these practices, he does like other people practice, you know, um, exams. He has a couple that he does, Q banks, whatever. He's like, these are all not even close to the exam. They're all convoluted. Why even pay attention to it? That's what I've been saying. That's what I'm trying to preach to you guys. Don't master anybody's q bank it's a waste of time don't focus on the results focus on the fundamentals focus on the techniques focus on just the key words focus on patterns and the little bit of content you'll be surprised that you only need you don't need a lot and if you're with us as a member which is going to be a great time to sign up because this monday we are going to be starting our whole new Kona way, our whole new Kona program. I already got a flyer for you guys to show you guys what we're going to be doing. It's a complete restructure of everything that we've done and the phase one. Then we're into phase two. Uh, yeah, I'm a nerd. I turned it into like the MCU Marvel type thing, phase one, phase two. Um, I'm not doing 2.0. I think 2.0 thing is like played out. I'm doing phase two. Anyways, <laughs> that's the nerd creative part of me. All right. Anyways, we're so. If you want to join in, scan the, the QR code there, get onto my link tree, get signed up, check out the schedule. My link tree has the schedule for January. You can check it out. It's for Android or Apple. It doesn't matter. Get onto the calendar. You can already structure and, you know, and start scheduling out your January. Guys, it's for the SIE, the 6 and the 63, this is what we're going to be doing for the Kona Academy. So check it out. Um, we are going to start all over, you know, whole new thing on Monday. Uh, if you're doing the 26 and 65, your sessions will be on Monday. And we're also doing this new thing on Mondays where we're literally going to give you guys test taking techniques, time to do Q&A, time to do, like talk about studying. Like we're throwing it all in there on a Monday for all exams, all members, all levels every Monday. And we'll have that up on the screen in a minute. And we're literally going to we're really going to focus in on those fundamentals. And those techniques and everything I just said right off the bat on Monday, every day. Why? Because that's the way we need to look at everything as we go through the content together. If you're in the Kona Academy or if you're doing it on your own through our 21 day plans through the other you know, programs, which you can still do as a self-study because some of y'all are just beasts and you like to go at your own pace. I understand. Or you work. You could do either one. It's the same price. Doesn't matter. Do whatever you would do, whatever works, right? And you can, and we just want to make sure that we're hitting it every single week with those techniques, those fundamentals, how to study, how to retain all that stuff. We're going to be doing that every Monday, guys. It's a great program. We'll have replays of that session, but I'm just telling you guys, that's where it starts and ends really, honestly, yep. fundamentals, techniques, anybody that's passed with us, they'll say it over and over again. Test taking techniques was a game changer. I don't know where I would have gotten if I would have not had the techniques. I'm telling you guys, that's the way we're going to be doing it. And we'll be starting it all on Monday. So it's a great time to be a member. Sign, uh, go ahead and scan that QR code. And if you are a member or you're signing up and you're a little bit lost, trust me, I will be giving out videos 
but you'll be you're gonna get a couple videos for me uh you know maybe like a promotional but you're gonna see a video of me explaining the difference between the 21 day plan and the academy it'll be hitting in patreon this uh next this uh next couple days it'll explain it so that way you guys know how to gear yourselves up for the coming weeks and how we're going to be doing this all right um yeah so scan the qr code not only do you get in the membership but you have all that stuff in the message board we have a whole community you can plug into study guides are available we have new study guide coming soon we have 21 day plan coming for the sie that's going to be brand new brand spanking new with all the new videos that we just downloaded series six you're going to get a new 21 day plan like all of everybody's getting a new plan in this next month in this next month so it's going to be great uh, if you have any uh, if you have any questions, call 951-290-3077. Uh, call or text me. I can respond either way. All right. Uh, here's the flyer. Conan Academy. All right. Let's just go on to the next. Uh, my, uh, tomorrow, guys, just a real quick reminder. Friday, we have test taking techniques Q&A tomorrow morning. Be there. Have questions posted up on Discord if you're a member. So Brandy could take them down. Right. Or if you have study questions or you just started with us or you want to ask about what you're going to be doing or whatever, this is the time to do it. It's open Q&A. You're a member. Ask. Be there. If you've been on one of those things, you can ask, right? I'll have a replay out later. So even if you're not going to be there, ask in the Discord. Brandy will answer in the session. And then, bang, you got the answer when you watch that replay. All right. That starts at 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Uh, Mountain, 2, 12 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. in the East. And then here it is uh, for Monday. Just a quickie uh, little announcement here so because uh, uh, just because it's already laid out. Just getting uh, you guys all ready for what's going to be going on on Mondays from here on out. Mondays is that all exam session, all members. So all members. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you're at, what exam. I want you all there if you can. 11 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Mountain, 1 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. in the East. So that's all exam session. To use the all exam code uh, when we start the Kona Academy and when we do the Kona Academy, that will have its own Zoom code that'll be like on a webinar. It'll be something that you have to be in the, the two tiers that it's offered in. So it's not that code, but it'll you already have this one. You already have the Zoom code. So if you're a member, I'm just trying to preload everybody. I know a lot of people are going to be not going to watch, you know. You know, they're going to watch this over the weekend. So make sure that you have this all exam quiz or all exam message. I will be sending out that Patreon reminder on Sunday night. So you have that code if you don't already have it as well. Test taking techniques, study help, Q&A happen on that session. Series 26, check in, accountability, Q&A, same with the 65. So we're going to do the 26 and 65 going forward a little different, a little bit more useful. Yes. So. That's what we're doing on Monday. All right, you ready to do this? Um, yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Now I'm like, it might not be a full length kind of catch trade. We'll go for it. We'll do what we can. All right. All right, Kona catchphrase. <laughs> Kona catchphrase. How do we play? I think I already explained it. We're gonna put some answers and questions up. I'm gonna read them. You guys participate. Put what you think are the keywords patterns into the chat. Let's have fun. Let's go. All right, D, ownership and distribution of all shares would be determined by probate court. C, the deceased party's interest is transferred to the remaining party. Um, half of or 50% of shares would belong to the remaining party, and the balance would be distributed to the estate or deceased. Um, A, all the shares are distributed to the heirs named in the estate of the deceased party. Yes, B has an and. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, look at Eric's thinking already. He look, he's looking at the answers now. Look at that. <laughs> Remember, he would struggle with that so much. Yeah. All right, guys, you guys got enough. That's really all you guys need. Is here you go. Oh, wait. We didn't look at the question. <laughs> oh, we were supposed to. I know, but you guys got it. You guys said the end. You guys said the number B was the only one that had the number in it, right? That was That's what answer. we're talking about with Kona catchphrase. That's what we're talking about in techniques, guys. You can literally get the answer without even applying any kind of content, just paying attention. Yeah. That's it. That was it. That was it. Oh, I should read the question anyway. 
A married couple, uh, a married couple have equal 50% ownership interest in a tenants in common account. T uh, C. If one party to the account dies, what happens to the shares in the account? Yep. Goes to the estates. That's the other link. Didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. Yep. Yeah. Abigail's like, dang, I got this now. See? See how much easier that is? Just saying. All right. So this is a Roman numerals. Look, if you're taking the SIE, just a quick note, you won't have Roman numeral questions. On the real exam. The SIE, the 6, the 63, the 26 doesn't have room. There you go. So if you see them in your quiz questions, don't trip. All right. A, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that's like all of them, I'm guessing. B is uh, just 1. Uh huh. C is 1 and 2. And then D is 1, 2, 3. So it's either 1, 1 and 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's it. Exactly. And exactly, Eric said it, one isn't all of them. So we don't even have to read one, really. Right. Right? Okay. Which of the following are characteristics of a revocable living trust? One, it is established before the grantor dies. Two, the grantor can change beneficiaries. Three, the grantor can add or remove items from the trust. Four, the grantor is not subject to tax on income that remains in the trust. Two, three, four has grantor. That is true. Actually, all four does. Hmm. I mean, when I read this, Brandy, and I'm not even doing techniques, but I'm just kind of like applying some a little bit of a just common common okay. sense, I guess. I kind of look at these and I just go, do any of them sound or all of them sound reasonable to me? Does anything stand out as like unreasonable or... Because, you know, sometimes they sneak in those ones that are just like, you know, that's not true. Yeah, that is true. I don't know that applies here. Uh, it can, but that would be content. Right. So, guys, I'm going to I'm going to help you guys out a little bit on this one. Um, First of all, it says living. Trust, right. You got to be alive. We already established that one is in all the answers. So we didn't have to think about that one, but it has to be established before they die. That makes sense. Yes. Right? Because it's a living trust. The next piece of this is really the simple fact that it's revocable. And what do we know? What does the word revocable mean outside of securities? Outside of it? Mm -hmm. It means like you can uh, be denied, can change. Take yeah. It back. Take it back. Right? That's like the most common is like take it back. So to translate that, because there's nothing, two, three, and four doesn't, they don't really say take it back, but it does say can change it does say can add and guys if you can change that means you can add right does that make sense yes you can change i mean the one two and three are right absolutely but the whole thing about this not subject to tax on income that remains in the trust guys if you can change it that means the trust is not taxed so four is not an answer choice the answer is all three simply just by looking at the word revocable and living because the, so what was the, the technique or key in that, that last one for? Because th that, that would be where the technique was, but because it's a revocable living trust, uh, the trust itself is not taxed. It's not a separate thing. It's a living thing, not a separate thing. So it can't be taxed. It's not going to be taxed. There you go. If you didn't know that, now you know. Yep. yep. If you don't know, now you know. All right. Uh, D, semi-annual, semi-annual, uh, semi-annually, and it is taxed annually. C, at maturity and is taxed annually. B, semi-annually and is taxed at maturity. A, annually and is taxed at maturity. How mature? <laughs> A, B, at maturity. C, D, annually. Oh, I guess. About that. And all. All of them have and, yeah. Um, That's it. Yeah. Maybe not. Okay. A zero coupon bond pays interest. Oh, no, Brandy, I don't remember this. I don't know if I was studying. I might have been drunk that night. Maybe I had a hangover. I don't know. 
It happens. I'm going to help you guys out right there. There you go, right? Because zero coupon, there is no zero, right? There's no zero. Right. But yeah, at maturity. Because if I if I have zero coupon, how I'm not I'm not gonna get it annually. If I'm zero coupon, I'm not gonna get it semi annually. I'm just gonna get it at the end. What is that maturity for all the kids at home that are had just started? At the end. It's the end, right? At the end. We we get mature. At the end. We're at maturity. Exactly. At the end. Right. Um, and then uh, I was going to tell you guys how I remembered that zero coupons are, in fact, still taxed annually. Yeah. Wait, what? I'm not getting interest annually, but I'm being taxed annually. So, guys, if you remember Nightmare Before Christmas, it was just tis the season of that movie all the way through October through December. If you guys know, right, you guys have ever seen that movie, the little ghost dog, right? It's the only thing on there. And it's the only thing in that whole entire movie that's not play. Uh, the ghost dog, his name is Zero. He's also a phantom. So how I have memorized this is that the zero coupons have what is called a ghost or phantom tag. You know how you say ghost in Spanish? Fantasma. There you go. See? So zero is the name of the phantom dog or the ghost dog. So the zero coupons have the ghost or phantom tax annually. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, whatever helps you guys remember this stuff. There you go. You're welcome. At maturity at the end. That's why I'm not mature. Yeah. I'm not at my end. All right. D owner. C long party. B holder. A as a writer. Yes, that is different. Writer, right? Yep. These are the same. Am I the only one that says long party? I don't know what the heck that is. Is it a long? Is it like a Cali party? <laughs> Ain't no well, party like California party. Let, let let's look, California party never stops. Let's look at the question and then the question. long party a Mexican party. Yes, those don't stop either. That's hilarious. <laughs> the buyer of an option contract can be known as all of the following except <laughs> the buyer. I think it, I mean, it's, I mean, come on. The keyword here, keyword, what's the keyword in the question? The buyer, the buyer, except there you go. Right. So the buyer is not the writer. The writer is the writer. The writer is the seller. The buyer buys the writing. Correct. You guys can write that down. Think about it. When you, uh, let's say it was a book writer. Right. Mm -hmm. The book writer is not the buyer. Right. Take it out of securities. If you do you think Stephen King is the buyer? No, I just wrote the dang book. Why do I need to buy it? Right. See? I'll just walk over to my desk and go read it. Exactly. Why am I buying it? Exactly. All right. Think about it. All right. D marking the clothes. C pegging. B matched orders. A a wash sale. Brandy's favorite. Do you know why it's Brandy's favorite? Because she passed out in those those edge videos oh, God. on a wash sale video and she woke up and just yelling and wash sale. Because this is what happened. Andy goes, Brandy, are you asleep? I said, no, wash sales. <laughs> <laughs> Never watched another edge video. She couldn't. I tried one more video. I did laundry. She passed out. She's all washed. <laughs> all right so unethical right um these are all bad they're all bad yes good 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 observation ashley the, these are these are all bad uh this one is kind of different because it's got three words no it's not, it's not it's got three words um but you can kind of almost paint a picture with each of these right marking the clothes that means i'm probably going to be at like at the close of market yeah, I'm marking it on the board. Right. Uh, pegging. I always think of a pegboard. Yeah, I'm like putting a thumbtack through it. Yeah, which, what most of you probably did your vision boards on. Uh, matched orders seems to be I like, will match you. I'm just going to tell you guys it's fake activity. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like, hey, uh, we're two different broker dealers. Yeah. I'll sell it to you. You buy it for me. Then I'll then 
then you sell it to me and I'll buy it from you. It's to it's fake activity. Oh, the boss said we had to do something today, so let's do this. Yeah, and then a wash sale, basically there's a wash. It's like it, something's going to cancel out. Right? Yeah, there's no there's no up, there's no down, it's all nothing. Yeah, it's going to cancel out. So so you know th- those aren't really I mean other than close of market, right? That's really the only security term. Everything else we've heard of, right? An investor notices that a bond purchased several years ago at 95 is now priced at 90. The investor sells the bond for 90, then immediately repurchases it, repurchases it for 90. This action is known as exactly, right? Exactly what? Oh, somebody put in the chat that the that it's the immediately repurchases yes. which is the the keyword from the question and you guys are right because we said it cancels out right yeah there's no gain if i bought it and sold it for 90 uh can you say we're in the same place yeah i mean in all seriousness there's a whole technical background to that but we don't really need to know that we sold it we rebought it what's the point it cancels out if you have ADD, you really need to be on our program because I'm telling you, we don't waste time on things that we don't need to really further explain. Nah. Nah. I know there's people out there that have like an hour long explanation of wash sale. I mean, I I could tell you, but we don't need it. Yeah. We just here for past notices. Yeah. Not violated. Wait, <laughs> just do this. Just read right here. Don't read this. Yes, ma'am. But go ahead. Not a violation because not a violation because the area um, violated the TCPA because it is uh, not violated the TCPA because. Okay, so first, before we even get to that stuff, I just crossed off. Guys, what are you noticing between A, B, C and D? Uh, I have three knots and one violated. There you go. So first of all, that's different, right? Okay. now. There's one thing that stands out, and somebody already put it in the chat. There's one thing that stands out about C as well. C and D are complete opposites, I would say, right? Because it can pertains to TCPA, which I don't know what that is, but yeah, it seems more specific. Diana has it because what did we start? What was the question that we started off with? Right? Has a number. C has a number. C has a number. Brandy. So not only was C different, but C also was the only one that had a number. That's the answer. Do we need to know what TCPA is? Uh, no, not to get this right. Not to get this right. It's just, it's just, don't call. Oh, we didn't even put the question up. Oh, my bad. Joshua, a registered representative, called a prospect at 7 p.m. only to be told that the prospect is in a different time zone. Where it is 10 p.m., Joshua has violated the TC. Don't, isn't it like the don't call something list? It's basically, guys, the TCPA is the do not call this. It's the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. It's basically stop calling me. Oh, uh, after nine o'clock, the prospector's time. Okay. Anyway, there you go. There you go. Oh, real quick. Another thing, because you guys do need to know this. It's kind of on every exam. The best way to to remember that it the hours are 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. their time. The person you're calling's time. Yes. Their time zone. Not your time zone. Their time zone. Yeah. Is, hey, let me just say this to the East Coast folks. I love y'all. I love you. You guys are the best. Tim in Ohio. I have nothing but love for Tim. But let me tell you, it isn't Tim that did this. But yeah, my folks in 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 Florida, you know, New York, whatever. You got y'all, and we got to remember that when you call at nine o'clock your time in the morning, it is six a.m. my time. If you call me at six a.m. Your time in the East Coast. Don't. It is three a. It is three a.m. <laughs> my time. Yes, yes. But guys, remember this. Just eight, a service announcement. Just remember this. Eight nine. It goes in order. Eight nine. That's it. Like eight nine. So if you guys ever get confused, just remember eight comes before nine. The hours are from eight to nine. That's it. Just That's saying. Time. I know math isn't strong for all of you, but yeah. it's just a matter of three, just a matter of three hours. And uh, yes, Abigail, if you call me, don't. 
I am definitely snoring and the sleep mode is on my phone. So I don't actually, I don't get it anyway. Somebody, so somebody called me during the, the member session earlier yeah, yeah. today. I'm all, and this is why people have Andy's number and not my number. That is fact. <laughs> that is fact. Yes. That is why I know how to work my don't disturb sleep mode. And uh, y'all can call whenever. It doesn't matter to me. Nice. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Sleep mode on your phones is perhaps one of the best things that you could do for yourself on your phone when you're actually sleeping. Yes. Yes. Protect your sleep. Yeah, man. And, and if it, you're worried about your family calling, you can set it to where they can call through. Yeah. I have my kids and my family members on emergency bypass because my, my family is not calling me at 2 a.m. unless there's an emergency. So they there can you go through. Everybody else. Sorry. Voicemail. Voicemail. <laughs> Learn how to text. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. We're going to have a live session for tomorrow morning. We will not have, if you're brand new to all of us, all of this, we do not do the studying brew on Friday nights. So we will be back. And I don't know, this may or may not be the last Sunday evening espresso for members. I don't know, but it is definitely be there. If you are really interested in our Kona Academy, if you're really interested in how to work the 21 day plan, or if I want to do the Kona Academy, be there Sunday night. 10 p.m. Pacific. I will record it. It will be out the next day. But Sunday night, we are really going to make uh, that episode all about the differences and the uh, the academy and the 21 day plan. So if you really want to know the differences and how it works, and you're already a member, beyond, uh, I will have the cheap, free, and uh, available for everyone explanations coming out this weekend. So if you're thinking about getting signed up and you want to know the differences, no worries. I will do that. But it'll be much shorter, uh, much more to the point and more compact because I know how all my under 30s like it. Less than three minutes, Andy, and 130 words. Explain everything. I am the same way. Yeah. So, but Sunday night, we'll go into great detail. Yeah, so cool. be there on that. And we'll. And even if you're not doing the Kona Academy or the, the, the 21 day plan because you already passed that and you want to know where the 65 and the 26 fit into this, be there too. All members, be there. Because we'll be explaining how this program is going to be for all of you. All right. Thank you all for being on here tonight. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. That's all I know. Keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Have a great night. Guys, thank you so much for being on. We super appreciate you. Practice the Kona catchphrase and those techniques in your quizzes through the weekend. We will see you guys next time. Have a great one. Yay!